right, so <laughs> we'll just start where we're at here. So everybody check your life force. And let's see our chakras start to come on, starting with the root. And the sacral. And the solar plexus. Oops, Marlene's frozen. Am I frozen? Hmm. Good morning. Good morning, Dia. We're starting to do our chakras here, so check your life force and then get your chakras tuned up. Okay. Okay. Because we get a lot of clearings here, so we want to start with a, a clean, clean energy. Oh, there's Jody. Good. Okay. Good morning, Jody. Are you there? Okay, so we are starting in everybody with, um, we want to check our life force and then we want to get all of our chakras attuned. So let's just do that for ourselves. And we were in the sacral and then the solar plexus and the heart chakra. And the throat. And third eye. And the crown. All right, and if there's any, um, any attachments, check yourself for that. All right. So, how was your 4th of July? Anybody have a, <laughs> any, watch some fireworks or? I was uh, going to, but it was got kind of late. No, I like, uh, <laughs> seen them on TV. We watched oh. we watched Hamilton in my backyard. What was that? It's a it's a, Hamilton. It's a Broadway show, and oh. there was a they videoed it uh, when it I think maybe the first or second season. Oh. The great show. I mean, I, I saw it once live in New York, but it's about Alexander Hamilton. So oh. It was, uh, it was, it's real. I mean, I love it. I think the music is awesome. The dancing is very cool and beautifully done. Mm. So it was like little local firecrackers in the backyard. It was kind of fun. Oh, fun. <laughs> we did not go down to the national capital. No, we did not go down to DC. No. Oh. That's yeah. just silly. That just doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, I put, and we're having a um, full moon and an eclipse going on. Yeah. I put my crystals outside overnight. I got to go bring them back the in. I guess, no. <laughs> we got a good view of the moon, did you? It was beautiful last night. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Yes, and uh, I guess that it's like when it's the closest to the Earth. I guess is when. Right, a lunar eclipse. It was yeah. a partial, but yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so great. Um, I don't know if anybody has a case study that they wanted to talk about. Anything that um, they're working on that um, they either had a good result or getting a result or have a question about or would like help with. Not we can just go straight. So I, I actually would like to talk about um, 
So someone who just had surgery, it was really interesting. She had, uh, she had a hysterectomy and on, I forget what day it was. And it was really interesting. So I kind of prepared the operating room and her body and the doctors and kind of did that stuff and cleared some stuff out. And it went incredibly well, super fa much faster than the doctors thought. Could leave her ovaries, which is great. So she can, go, she's only, she just is about to turn 50. So she hasn't gone through menopause. But what was interesting is that uh, she could not pee. And they wouldn't let her leave the hospital until she peed. And, um, and you know, she had a lot of fluid and because of the IV, you know, for sailing. And so it was really interesting just kind of working. And I didn't have my book with me, but like just working. It was probably, because she called me from hospital. So probably within, and she was terrified because they were going to be talking about a catheter and she needed to pee and she had, and she was very uncomfortable. Mm. But uh, it was really just interesting about clearing out the anesthesia. Yeah. Um, and reconnecting. And I, again, I didn't have my book with me where I was because I wasn't expecting, you know, to work on her. And, um, really worked on, and I should look back and look at it, the urinary system. And I did, you know, bladder, kidneys, ureters, brain reconnection, and also clearing the trauma of losing her cervix and fallopian tubes, and uh, which we had done before, like in preparation and mm -hmm. uterus. But anyway, she peed, it was very exciting. Oh. It was like, it took 30 minutes, but they were, it was really like, that was a nice success story. Cause she was sure it was the work I was doing. She's like, I just couldn't do it, couldn't do it. So that was kind of cool to be able to just, for me at least, not to rely on the protocol necessarily, although I, they're great, but in a pinch, it's like, oh, you think about what system is working, amping light, clearing karma, clearing timelines, and then getting her brain and her urinary tract system connect, reconnected after the anesthesia. Yes. So good for you, Dia. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. And that anesthesia, that's, yeah. So clearing the anesthesia from the body, because that's really does uh, put a stop on a lot of stuff, doesn't it? Um, kind of like a uh, holding pattern or a, a stuckness. And usually people get super constipated. So I never heard of someone not being able to pee after a surgery. Oh. That okay. was, because I know anesthesia is very constipating. Yes. But that was, that was kind of interesting. I'd never heard that one before. So that was interesting. It was a cool, it was a cool thing to help her with. And yeah. Anyway, and as uh, Lainey would say, DIY, do it yourself. <laughs> Create your own protocol now. Yeah, really. <laughs> Go with what you know. <laughs> do that. <laughs> if you don't have it on page, do it. So anyway, <laughs> that was really cool and encouraging. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Okay, anyone else? I have something to bring up that I've been seeing a lot. I wanted to ask if anyone else has seen it, but so you know how you go through and you do the entities and all that sort of stuff and the amplifications and you do the anchors connected with them. But I've been finding a lot of like lone anchor, like wormholes and stuff, just lone anchors that don't have a creature with them or a, an amplification with them. So I've added that to my personal protocol of, I clear them and I look for any loan, like, I think I call them like negative loan anchors. So things are just sitting there, but they don't have anything with them. Is that? Yes. Yeah. And for sure, uh, you know, maybe the entity has been cleared, but um, you know, uh, maybe the first time we cleared it, or if this was um, just something that you hadn't worked on before. Uh, yeah, anchors can be there uh, just waiting for, uh, you know, the homing device or whatever, the homing <laughs> signal yeah. to track something. But uh, yeah, for sure. And that's a good catch because um, if we don't get all the anchors, then other stuff can come back in. I mean, it can come back in anyway, but, uh, but these things can be tracking information on the person. Um, okay. Yeah. So are you, do I need to say negative loan anchors or are there positive anchors as well? I don't believe anything would be a positive um, because it's not us. It's not the human. It's not, it's a, 
mechanical thing okay. that was put in without against our will. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and I've been working a lot more too. And I've actually, uh, speaking of entities, I've actually been finding a lot more of the burrower, the B3 or whatever it is, A3 burrower. I don't know if that's come up with anybody else, but I've been finding a lot of these lately. Um, one guy had over 10,000. Um, and he has like a, a salivation problem. His, his like, why is, you know, Ex excess salivation going on and I'm like what's going on with this um, checked all kinds of different things and um, you know and he's already already had like the brain regeneration we went through his nervous system because he has like Parkinson's type stuff you know from the doctors or whatever so we went all through that but it's like what what is with that and then I'm finding 10,000 of the Brewers thing and they play in the um, respiratory system so i mean i was getting the rest of his respiratory was fine you know <laughs> but then, yeah and then other people are turning up with this stuff too so i don't know if it's they're just swooped in for a while or <laughs> sometimes i find other things um a lot too and lesser of others so it's it, it's kind of interesting when you track it what's showing up but seems to work that way um, so yeah if you're finding a lot more of those too or or check more like you know instead of like oh no none of that wait a minute go back <laughs> maybe there was <laughs> um, yeah 10,000 and then somebody else had like you know 2,000 something and mm -hmm. 304 like wow <laughs> that's incredible um, and maybe it's because it's the respiratory thing and maybe it's that COVID deal going on with the respiratory um, issues and the lungs and the breathing. Maybe that's why they've come in to wreak some havoc in that area. And that's maybe why they're here, but. Are you talking about COVID? Yeah, it's possible that these things came in because of that, because they're a respiratory so the so one thing just to if anyone's working with COVID as much as I am the the respiratory but the stomach is as much and now it's becoming more brain stuff so just FYI brain stuff yeah brain and stomach so what do you find with the brain just um, a lot of attachments oh mm -hmm. okay the rept the reptoid and they, and they're they're really sticky, and very hard. At least for me, so far, to clear them a hundred percent completely. Oh, they're very sticky little boogers. And one of the things is that the um, the recovery from COVID is very long. Mm. There's a lot of finding more kind of neurological kind of uh, long term side effects. I mean, long term as in two months, but you know, oh. um, but some, you know, people aren't, it's not like the flu where you're like terribly sick and then a week or two, whatever it takes you, then you're like, I'm good. Right. That, that, that bouncing back is really harder. And I found brain and stomach stuff. Stomach stuff is, uh, there are a lot of bur burrowers there too. Okay. Oh. That's my experience, please. Yeah, and but then um, where are they coming from? I mean, um, did they get this stuff from the hospital? I mean, yes, this stuff hangs out at the hospital, obviously. Um, but is it just from the hospital? I wonder. No, not everyone's been at the hospital. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, I, I, I honestly, I, I don't do a lot of where they're coming from, and maybe I should start doing that. Um, I kind of got that it's part of the experience of the virus yeah oh sure and yes because of the what's in the virus itself obviously is coming in through that yeah so i've only had three out of like 12 people in the hospital okay One died. One died. um but yeah only like three so everyone's been home okay. the other people been home 
Okay. Have they had doctor's visits though, or gone to the like tele telehealth or drive by, you know, nasal swabs. Oh. Uh, one person, she was in and out of urgent care like three times in one week. Mm -hmm. um, but some of them did drive. I mean, you know, you don't know where you get it. I mean, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, you know, we're getting pretty good with masks and we've been pretty good for a while, but we have a lot of, we have a lot of deaths here. I mean, we have, I don't know, over 3,000, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe less than 2,500. You know, and we have a lot of big international group here and a lot of protesters, so, you know. Yeah, who knows where. Yeah, so I, I don't kind of think about where it comes from, but maybe I should. I'm more into, like, clearing it, fixing it, getting it gone for good. That's oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's just that I know that when people are in the hospital, there's a variety of stuff that comes with that. Right. <laughs> A lot of spirits too, yeah. I wonder if there's something with like the, we're in this fear state. A lot of people are in like excessive fear and I'm wondering if that attracts those types of creatures because we haven't been as a, as a, you know, planet this much in fear for a long time. So I just, I don't know, that's why I'm getting that's it somehow it's pulling it or attracting it. Yeah, good point. Good point, Lainey. Uh, the fear is all over the television. Uh, we went out to dinner uh, oh. last week, and um, and I don't watch the news. I, I really don't. That's it's not for me. But um, in there, they had it. They had well, sports television is supposed to be a bunch of sports, but there's no sports. So now it's like news. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I, I went in there feeling really good. I was all upbeat. Everything was great and happy and fun. And I come out of there like just deflated. <laughs> like, oh my God. Get me out of here. Oh. You know, I paid for that. That's just incredible, isn't it? <laughs> so Tracy just asked a really interesting question in the chat. Mm, what if the virus itself has the anchors in it? Very, yes, uh-huh, and absolutely. Yep, um, so, what if the virus is, okay, I feel it does. Yes, I do too, Tracy, good point. Um, and what, a, what about um, flu shots? Uh, did the flu shot that people just got more recently have yeah. COVID in it? Um, Interesting. Yeah. I did hear somewhere that people that got flu shots are more likely to get the coronavirus. That's what I heard too. Yeah, I did as well. Hey, I've never heard that. Uh, I, think, with the doctors. I'll ask them. I think I've heard there have been studies about flu shots over time. It's like if you get the flu shot one year, you're more likely to get the flu and other things the next year because it does weird things to your immune system. So it may be that, but it that having anchors in the virus is really interesting. Mm -hmm. I agree. So should we ask um, if there are COVID anchors? I'm giving you yeah. like just just for everybody if if they have COVID anchors. That's a good question, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Yes. And then we could we could uh, communicate with each other and just say, you know, ten people, I got eight, or um, ten people, I got zero. You know, we could report and kind of that's a great report back in. Yeah, because they could even be different from the anchors that we even know about, right? They could be something. Yeah, different. from yeah from the negative energies. Yeah. It, yeah, we could call it COVID anchors and just, you know, classify it as that. And um, yeah, if, if we can get a read on what more is in it or whatever, but for now, just call it that. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing I've been doing is like about every day, because I do our like a clearing for my house and everyone in it every day, but I also kind of ask, is there any COVID in the house? Is there any COVID in the people in the house? So I can check it every day. I don't know. 
I guess it would be if 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 any if any of us caught it, at least I could get it quickly and early and do something about it. But especially on days when we go out and like get our groceries or stuff like that. Okay. And you just you you got. You can also do I think, Lainey, another idea that I've been doing is, um, and again I have no idea if this is because we've been decreasing in Maryland because we've been. We were so sick for the last two months, but I've been doing it in my town where we now have no COVID. We had two, oh, wow. but our, my town, you know, my, my family, my home, my community, my, I, I just could keep widening the circle. Hmm. Um, so I get, I can do individuals, family, town, community, county. I can't do the whole state quite, but I'm just saying you can also widen that circle and just kind of, you know, I just amp a lot of golden energy into it and make sure that I'm clean and clear on the read, of course, so I'm not influenced. And so just a thought, and you know, before you go into your store, you get gas or, you know, oh, yeah. if you have a doctor's appointment, like I was doing for my client in the hospital with her surgery, just a thought. Yeah, I agree. I like that. Are you are you guys clearing it as if it's an entity? You know, just like clearing it. I mean, you're not going through the whole immune system and trying to regenerate anything. You're just clearing for COVID as if it's a thing that would have an anchor, you know, like an entity or something, an attachment or a dark field. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just treating it as, you know, there's supposedly a virus and so it's just i'm looking for that anywhere yeah. but yeah i suppose you could think of it as an anchor or a just a covid thing yeah yeah and i like that um so yeah just uh clear similar to like if we were going to clear uh somewhere that we were going to go you know like clear your house or clear you know if you're going to visit somebody clear do a clearing quick clear in the car on the way over mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, same thing like clear the store like dia said um so clearing with light and gold light and yeah. yeah yeah and the way we did the home we put the magnetic roses in the corner and then the one big right. was in the middle and then swirl all the energy up to it yeah um, gotcha. and then check to see if you're complete well, I think this is one, if you have other healing modalities, use them. I mean, my Reiki's on when I go out, my energy radiance tube is on when, I mean, I've got everything. And I do that to my husband too, so that we're just, you know, we've got this sphere of protection. So any other modalities you've got, use them. I mean, they, they work together just fine. Tell me about the energy radiance uh, tube, Lane. So it's a, it's a special set of light that you use that you pull in and you, it's it's from source um but it's basically a, they teach you how to do this tube and you can tube you know right around you or as far out as you wish you can tube an entire house to clear it you can tube and if you're working on a patient in that modality you tube the patient you tube yourself you tube the room and it's kind of it's just a protection type of thing <clears throat> um but it's a it's complex to learn but once you know it it's like pff, i can just say two and it's done mm, okay very cool that's and so interesting lane yeah I, I sort of got that um well i don't know a few years ago or something like because i was they put up these um cell towers near my house and so i was fighting it and anyways just freaking out because i was already having so many issues from you know not 5g <laughs> just 4g <clears throat> but I got this, you know, image of just being in a tube. So that's what I do all the time. It's like, I always think of it, it's like the old Star Trek, you know, being me up, Scotty. It's like just being in a tube of light. And I just do that all the time. It's good for everything. So I, yeah, not... I think you could do it with any colors of light that you wanted to do it. And you can even put the, you know, the, the quantum in the tube. You can put the Reiki in the tube. You can put the golden, you can put whatever light colors you want um i mean the energy radiance one was just a very specific one from celestials and it it's just one that i like but yeah i've been playing with just adding stuff to it so it's like 
I'm not going out with just one protection. I'm going out with a bunch. Supercharged. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are prepared. Oh, there's Jan again. Okay. All right. Well, very good. Um, and anything else that comes up? Yeah, please, please share with the group. It's, this is all great stuff. Great information. Um, and then, you know, one person finds something and, and it just, uh, you know, helps the other person's mind going, oh, wow, that's, you know, that could be what that is, or I could be doing that too. So yeah, please share. Thanks. Um, all right. So let's get into our vision clearings. Now this is a, this is a big, uh, big, big topic, a big clearing. Uh, you could compare it to virus, like vi clearing virus, where it takes several rounds uh, and could potentially take several hours. Now, of course, things are speeding up a little bit more. So uh, we may find that this doesn't take as long as it says, <laughs> okay, because um, it says anywhere from so many hours to like 160 hours of, <laughs> of, um, of doing the, uh, the hand movement. But, um, but we can see, you know, if we can get this uh, quicker than um, what it says, this is our intent to do that. So, um, but just know that typically in the past, this has been one of those things that takes a while. Um, now I don't wear glasses. I used to wear glasses and I don't anymore. So you, your eyesight can get weaned off from glasses. Um, and, uh, and you can, you know, I don't believe I completely completed my own vision clearing to a hundred percent. Uh, I don't have to wear glasses, but I don't feel like I'm still at 2020 um, yet, but I did not do that. <laughs> I didn't do the 160 hours yet, apparently, uh, either. Um, so this is good for me. I'm going to go back and do this uh, now again, another round. So the way that we're doing uh, infection clearings and, you know, certain rounds, uh, same thing here. We've got to do the vision in certain rounds too. Um, and the clearings always come first. So, so um, if you have the document that I sent yesterday, you could follow along there or just I have it pulled up on the screen. Either way, uh, we're going to look at the field of amplification first because there's always stuff that gets in the way of our vision. So, um, and I, uh, I do have clearings on this document towards the bottom. I have charting. Here it is, I guess, um, starting with vision charts here. Um, floaters, I guess, is the first one. And then I do have, here's all the different uh, amplification, field of amplification, uh, timelines. Um, karma embedding, okay, and then the DNA, and then all the different um, emotions here. Uh, and then the different dark energies. And then it says here, like for floaters, for example, um, depending on the number of floaters, you would do the little karate chop movement anywhere from one to 17 hours to clear these. And that would be just depending on, you know, the severity of the issue and how many floaters or, you know, if there's just one little one, you know, maybe it doesn't take as long. Um, so you would do, you would do the clearing first of all. Okay. And then you would do all of this stuff, right? You would clear all this. And then you would do the, after that, then that's when you're going to be doing the clearing, just like infections, you would clear everything that would be blocking you from having uh, healthy cells, you know, just doing the basic hand movement. But then um, after you're done with the clearing, that's when you're going to go into the, the karate chop here, anywhere from one to 17 hours. Um, then every day, like for this one, it says do the basic swirl every, well, every three days while seeing them disappearing. Uh, and it could take up to, you know, like seven weeks to completely disappear. So, um, so knowing that, let's go back here. So we're going to clear the field of amplification. So um, 
could be these things, or if you're going to go to a specific issue like floaters or nearsightedness or what on, one of those on the chart below, then follow those. But otherwise, um, for right now, we can just con uh, consider that we're going to clear these. So let's just start. We'll start here with clearing um, amplification, anything around vision, any vision issues. So we're going to clear. Um, Lucifer stops for blocking our vision. We're going to clear soul contracts. And you could uh, find out how many soul contracts are involved with um, issues related to um, anything less than 2020 or any vision uh, illness or, you know, any reason for compromise. So maybe check yourself right now for soul contracts for that. Anything blocking your vision. And write that number down. And if it's huge, it could be really huge, you know. So if you've never done this clearing before, I have, so mine's very small, but this number could be big. Um, and then get a yes or a node uh, is there demonic curses is there evil spirit curses, or is there demonic curses? yeah how could um, a soul contract affect the eyes do you have an example oh sure yeah from uh, from other lifetimes uh, we bring this stuff forward we've made some type of agreement with the dark dark side and maybe it had nothing to do with vision uh, our agreement with the dark was to, you know, I'll do anything if you help my mother or, or family or whatever. Uh, oh, okay. Well, let's put a uh, stop on your vision. Let's, you know. Uh, so it could have just been done to us without us even, we didn't make an agreement ar around our vision, you know. But it, it happens. Um, yeah, to take away our vision to, is to take away our inner vision as well. So we're not just talking here physical vision, we're talking the whole <laughs> connection piece, right? So uh, the pineal, right? And all the stuff that they're still doing to our pineal gland with the uh, chlorine fluorides and aluminums or whatever, you know, out there. Um, so check to see if you have these curses and then um, the aging timeline. So. Um, you know, um, stops around aging and cycles. I'm still getting cycles. Okay. I don't have curses or the time I'm, but I've, I've probably cleared all this stuff, but I, I still have cycles. So that's interesting. Okay. All right. So jot down what it is that you, you're clearing and then just let's start clearing the, on what we've got so far. Um, and then we're going to look at the color of the right and the left eyeball. So just an energetic, if you close your eyes and imagine and just seeing, you know, what color are you getting? You don't want to see, you know, the dark, you know, black, grays, and browns. Um, so see if you can find what your right eyeball, what color you're getting. Okay. And, uh, you know, if you're getting a dark darkness, uh, other, anything other than a, a, a nice vibrant color, then you're going to want to send the gold energy through the eyeballs. Okay. So, um, so looking at the master cell here for the eyeball, it says, um, you know, is the energetic color dark, black, gray, or brown, right? So that's what we're kind of looking for here on the eyeballs itself. So um, sending in the gold until you want like a pink or a green, it says here. That's what we're kind of going for. I got green in the right, but I, I 
I didn't in the left. Seems to make sense to me. Yeah. So let's go for pink or, or green. Uh, and then regeneration required. Ask if, you know, is my right eyeball going to require gener regeneration? Is the left eyeball. Okay, and then if yes, then you're, then you're gonna do the regeneration of the cells. So then looking at the master cell for the eyeball again, uh, and then you're gonna start in the areas that we did for regeneration of the other body parts. So looking at the membrane of the master cell. So we're connecting the master cell. We wanna connect to source. We wanna make sure we're grounded and, and we're all perfectly safe and protected here, this master cell. And then you're gonna look at it at the membrane around it and just look for that color and then jot that down. And you could be in the right or the left <laughs> eyeball, I guess here. Marlene, what does a gold energy through halos through oh, right hand, what's that mean? One time it was the gold energy was coming in through uh, you know, you saw it coming in through what would be considered the halo area, you know, because it was a gold, the gold halos had this beautiful gold healing energy. So you could see it coming through and then coming out through the hand that you would do your basic movements with. It's not so much needed anymore. I'm going to actually just kind of take that out because it's not, uh, not necessary. Okay. We, we get it coming through regardless. So yeah. Um, yeah, good, good question. Yeah, so looking at uh, the color then of the membrane and then jot the color down. And then sending in the gold, bring the gold into the membrane of the cell. And you want it to go to pink or green. And once it is, then you can proceed to the nucleus. So let's just spend a minute here sending gold through. And you can actually be intending to work in both eyes at the same time, um, sending in the gold through bo to both eyes, eyeballs. Okay. 
And once you're uh, complete with the eyeball, then the, do the same thing with or the membrane, then do the same thing with the nucleus of the eyeballs. Uh, test for color. I'm just curious, Marlene, this, this is interesting, this kind of testing for color thing. Yeah. Is, so that seems specific to the vision clearing? Yes. And can you talk about that a little bit? What's that? It's just interesting. Well, actually, no, I mean, you can do this with anything. Um, and I do. Okay, so what, regardless of whatever gland or organ I'm working in, if I see it as a dark color, then there's the health is, is compromised. Okay, so, so this one too, like where it says here, test condition of nucleus. Is it minimally functioning? If it's, uh, you know, what's the function of the nucleus? Okay, if it's low, percent, whatever, gold energy to bring it up to 100. Right. So that's the um, the actual functioning, and then the color. Again, you want to bring the color to pink or green, but pink or green is the vision. Yeah, that's separate for. That's specific for the eyes. Uh, pink is very healing for the eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, yeah, very very healing. You can always bring pink in. Mm -hmm. uh, Are there any other systems where we're looking for specific colors? Uh, well, you know, the chakras, right? But right. Yeah. not necessarily. No, not, not the, no, not necessarily. Okay, so just the eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just interesting. Yeah, pink is very healing. It's soft. You can, like, the hardness of the lens, uh, you can bring, just see pink coming in. If you've been reading for a long time, uh, pink is always very healing. Yep. Um, all right. So then, get a read on the nucleus as well. So we're gonna get the we're gonna get the membrane up to one hundred percent, or pink or green, and then move into the nucleus. And test that. All right, and then moving into the okay. Well, the outer outer membrane, I guess this should have been up here um, with the membrane, but the uh, the membrane sends information from cell to cell, um, and the, whereas the nucleus is more of the director of the cell and. The, DNA strand directs the entire body. So it goes out and sends information through from the eyes to the entire body or or the other way around. Um, 
then you're going to look at the absorption organelle. This is how it absorbs nutrients for the eye. And so you want gold in there to 100. So check the absorption organelle. Now for uh, white, you might get white, like, it, you know, besides a color, um, I know I said dark or black or gray or brown, but if you're getting white, that's like a control energy. So if you're seeing just white as a color, write that down. It's, And then move into the elimination, elimination organelle after that. <clears throat> That's where toxins are removed from the cells. And uh, there may be pieces of the organelles missing. Okay, so um, it says here for eye illnesses, but you know, but you can check, just say, well, maybe the, I'm not getting much of a read on the absorption organelle or something, maybe it's gone, right? It's potentially, it could be missing out of the cell, out of the master cell. Um, so if it is, you want to activate the human blueprint here. Um, and doing just doing the basic set, swirl for a while, but just knowing um, that you're bringing back the absorption organelle, for example, bringing it back, bringing it back. I'm you know tapping into the the human blueprint the way we're, it's supposed to be the perfection of that blueprint and that organelle, bringing it back online. So check. To say, is it there? Is it is it hundred percent there? What what do you mean the basic swirl? Just the regular uh, basic hand movement. Oh, okay. So I'm getting one that's not um, totally there, 100%. It's there, but not 100%. So pieces of it may be missing.
And for me, it's the left eye. The right eye is pretty well great, but the left eye is, I guess, the one that I didn't complete. So do you have to ask what is missing? Yeah, you can say, uh, you know, is, is, how much of my absorption organelle is there? Is it 50% uh, there, 100% that, you know, if, uh, if you're getting, you know, 58%, okay, then you're gonna need to activate the blueprint, see it coming back, coming back, bring the organelle back. Yeah, until you get to 100%. Are all the pieces back? Am I going to 100% absorption organelle? Not yet. And then if you're complete with this part, you can move into the DNA strand. And here you wanna see if it's broken as well. So this is, um, just ask, is the strand to the master cell intact, 100% intact, or is there breaks? Is there breaks? Is it 100% intact? What is it? If you do get that there's breaks in the telomeres, which are on the ends of the strand, um, and those are the ones that we see lengthening the telomeres. We want to lengthen them out. Uh, but first you want to fix the breaks if, and then check the number of breaks. So here it says test four breaks. Nine is a lot. Um, so if there's breaks, yes, how many? Now you can actually um, physically attach them, <clears throat> like reattach the breaks together. Okay, so if you're finding that there's one break, <clears throat> okay, put them, put them together, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> put the pieces of the strand together. And or you could, um, here it says if it, you're missing DNA, you wanna activate the blueprint Again, with the gold, gold, swirl it in, activating the blueprint, bringing it on. Just kind of see it coming back on. And if it's not broken, the strand's still there, but it's not broken, then you can imagine lengthening the telomeres on the strand, nice and healthy, bringing it back. to its nice and lengthy. Does someone want to give a review of where they're at? Just kind of so that maybe the rest of us can see if, if we're similar or. So I did have some issues with the elimination organelle being stuck. And I did have some breaks in the DNA strand. 
Oh, okay. How many breaks did you get? One for me, five for my husband. I'm doing both of us at the same time. Okay. Okay. Interesting. And elimination organelle, um, that was uh, a weak one for me too in the left eye. Interestingly. Yes, it was for me too in the left eye. Oh, oh the elimination. So what's going on with the left eye for, for that's the receiving, the female, right? The receiving. So receiving information, huh? I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look here. I've got this messages of the body from or from the body a book here. It's kind of big. Um, let's see what it says about the eyes. And of course, there's all kinds of issues, you know, eye fatigue or itching or, you know, burning and that sort of thing. But um, uh, okay, so right eye problems in general would be things are awful. They have deep conflicts about what they are seeing or what they're going or what they see going on in the world around them. <clears throat> And the left eye says, oh my God, they are involved in intense emotional reactions to what they see happening to and within themselves. Um, and then they go into macular, pink eye, pressure. Um, you know what, I might just, what I should do is, uh, scan um, scan these pages from this book. These might be helpful for you. Uh, reading vision problems, um, retina problems, and then there's separate ones for cataracts, cornea glaucoma, and so forth. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just scan these pages in and send them to you. <clears throat> um, That'd be great, thank you. Yeah. Eyelashes, if there's eyelash problems <laughs> or eyelid problems, <laughs> lower lids, uh, styes, inflammation, that kind of stuff, burning, yeah. Yeah, I have a friend where her eyelashes fall out regularly, just different spaces, different places, and then they'll grow back and then a few will fall out and there'll be like a little section here and one or two there. Yeah, that happened to my sister once. I remember in high school, and it was like just terrible because back then, oh, mascara yeah, <laughs> up to your eyelash or up to your eyebrows or whatever. Yeah, it's a big patch missing of her eyelashes. It's just the end of the <laughs> world. <clears throat> okay, so um, so continue on with what you're doing here, and then continue to see where you're at if you're still clearing anything up here. Okay, and then keep that running. So, um, so then activating the light of the cell. All right, so then this is, we're down to the part here where this is the regeneration. Um, so let's see, activating the light. Okay, so this is the mirroring of the master cell to all of the other cells. So it's gold into the light of that cell. And um, so this perfect master cell then can teach all the other cells to get them up to perfection as well. Um, and then so that's just sending the gold in, right? You know, just continue to send the gold into the whole master cell. So do the same procedure with your visual cortex uh, in the back of the brain. So looking at the visual cortex then, 
um, in the brain. If the color is gray or black, look and see what the color is here. You want that to come up to pink or green too. So visual cortex, get a color and then a percentage. And the gold through there. And then ask it, does it, does it need regeneration? Because I'm getting no. And so if you just get the gold up to 100%, a lot of times that's all it needs. It doesn't need to go on. And then from here, then you would look at the optic nerve test for a color there. That's the connection between the eyeballs and the visual cortex in the brain. Get a color and a percent. Uh, once you get it to a hundred percent, then you can ask if it requires regeneration. And maybe for the, you know, first time ever doing it, maybe it's, it is saying yes. I don't remember what I'm getting. I'm getting no, but I've, I've done it before, but.
Some of these move quicker than the than other ones, don't they? I noticed. I think the organelles just move pretty quick um, for me, but. Okay, so depending on where you're at, um, let's move on to the next area. So this would be uh, looking at why the eyes lost full function and clear that. So you can ask different things. So was, you know, is there, um, is it an aging, maybe it's an aging program or something around aging. Uh, if you get, you know, so, so say, how come my left eye or my right eye, um, what caused, and it could be something different for each eye too, right? So you could ask it in general for both eyes, right? Um, or was there toxins involved here? Was there uh, something going on with chemicals or whatever? Uh, DNA or bloodline patterns, lack of water, illness and injury or eye diseases, eye condition or vision disease, optic nerve, for example. So let's ask ourselves that. If you're getting more than one thing, um, such as what I'm getting, uh, maybe you want to put down the percentage of it. Like how much is toxicity? Is it 80% of the issue here or? And I don't know if anyone else is getting this, but I find it, you know, DNA is the majority of the issue I'm finding for myself. So let's move into DNA. <laughs> okay, so for example, nearsightedness, uh, myopia, so we can clear it. So using the DNA, now does anyone need to use the bathroom or need a little five minute break here? Yes, please. Okay, let's do that before we get into DNA. And uh, just come back in about five minutes.
Okay, and then illnesses. Okay, so the uh, pink eye allergies, virus in the eye, herpes, um, you want to clear the illness and then do the eye protocols to heal that. So, so do the, doing the clear, clearing on that particular illness, which is what we've got here in the charts coming up. Um, but if we don't, don't have one for you know allergies in the eyes I mean you you want to chart it out yourself so going through the perception and amplification what is it that's blocking clear vision to let go of the virus in the eye or whatever it is so you can check for that if there's certain issues and then clear an illness as it is being presented to you and expect a good result the first time so um, clear an illness as it is being presented to you. So what I get from that is I clear what I get. Okay, so maybe you have a second session set up with this and in the next session you get other things that you didn't get the first time and that's just normal. Um, it's their body saying okay as it's being presented so maybe the first thing was being presented to you and you got that and you cleared it now this session hey now something else is being presented to you okay so now you can clear that uh, and just expect okay expect a good result um, and expect that hey your the body's so intelligent that it sent this to me to clear first and now it's so intelligent it knows it needs to send this to me to clear next um, so sometimes it, you know, you, you don't need to second guess anything. You just clear what comes, clear what comes. And then you can glad, gradually wean off your glasses as your eyes get stronger. Um, and you can do that like maybe uh, daytime driving and then maybe eventually you can get to nighttime driving or, or whatever, you know, just see how, how you're feeling good enough to go um you could actually even do the uh, vision tests and seeing how you're doing with the uh, 2020 tests or go to your eye doctor you know you can still go to the eye doctor uh, once a year or whatever it is and get your pressure checked and you know get your vision numbers and so forth but you don't have to accept their prescription for a new set of glasses you can just take the prescription and head out the door if you want you know <laughs> from there but it's always good to get their information see if there's any they see that you don't um okay so then here again is the uh, issues so if you want to test to see is there floaters do i get a yes on floaters I am. I do have a little one. It's uh, just a little teeny one left. I had more, but I barely see it anymore, but I'm still getting a yes. Well, 87% clear. So that would be one that I would want to come back and do all the clearings on. And then, um, after you do the clearings, then you're going to kind of come back and do the karate chop for one to 17 hours to clear it. And then you come back um, every three days and just do the basic swirl as you're intending to clear floaters. Can you talk about that a little bit? So you do the karate chop one to 17 days every hour. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Can you explain what kind of, what's that about? Yeah, you're doing, okay, so first of all, um, so you're going to do the, uh, you're going to do the clearing here, clear all this, clear all this, clear all this, yeah? yeah. And then after you do the clearing, then you're going to do the, this, this is the um, actual, this is like clearing infection. So first of all, you did all the clearing to have healthy cells, then you cleared the infection itself. So here you're actually clearing the floater itself you're in that floater going you're out of here <laughs> let go let go <laughs> there you go <laughs> and um so you're going to do that uh to clear it to 100 percent. so you're going to sit there um clear I'm gonna sit 
Um, and then you're going to come back in three days and you're going to do just your basic, you know, hand movement every three days. You're going to ask, hey, is it still there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Three days later, then you do it again. Okay. It's three days later. Is it still there? Yeah. Okay. Do it again. Three days later. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do it again. <laughs> so it's just going to be on your running chart of what to do you know you're just going to put down floaters swirl or whatever <laughs> right, i'm just curious why you think that this is uh what uh like so when i look at i'm just looking at the infection stuff why it's so is it just so so hard to get really done i mean it's just interesting to me compared to all the others where you don't have to do that many actions repeatedly it seems it, different than all the other kind of protocols we uh, yeah, it really is because how did a floater get there? I mean, really, you know, uh, that's you not say the same with how did cancer get there, right? So, yeah, I mean, that's not normal. It's not something that you just are born with. This was put in us somehow, right? It's like, it's like, um, it, it, this is not a, this is not us. This is not the human blueprint. This is not part of the blueprint. This is something was stuck in there, right? So you're getting it out just like the virus. It's stuck in you, got put in you, right? That's not normal. So you got to get it out, right? And it can be difficult. It can be difficult stuff. So that's why. And then it could take maybe seven weeks to completely disappear if you're doing this every th third day or every third day on the swirl. And then same with far and nearsightedness. You're gonna do, if you're getting a yes there, you do all the clearings. And then you're gonna come back. Um, well, you're just, you're just gonna seven to 80 hours, depending on what it is, to intend that you're clearing it now. And you can just do the basic. You don't have to do the karate chop on this one. Um, and then you're gonna check to see, uh, does it require regeneration? Yep. Yeah then do it and then check in about 131 days if you need to do a second round. <laughs> 131. <laughs> so that's almost, I don't know how many months that is, like five or whatever. So Marlene, can any of these be done like concurrently? Like, um, you know, this one's seven to 80 hours, right? The basic scroll. The previous one one to 17 hours. Can we like intend to do them all like overlapping or do you have to do one and then the next and then? And that, and then just keep your chart. Okay, okay. just keep charting it then. Like, you are, is that working? Okay, it's working. Yeah, I am moving up. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But if only one's working, then maybe not. Yeah, gotcha. That needs requires its own separate concentration of that particular area and make sure that you do get it in constant you know into that area um, at least to begin with and then um, then you can recall okay do that you know <laughs> do that same thing okay so stick um you know of course here's all the um the clearings for all that you want to do first and then uh, Yes, this was on the bottom with all the other stuff, but um, so the basics were all three to 110 hours. <laughs> um, and then ask if regeneration is required. It could take maybe up to four different rounds of regeneration, and each one is like 72 days. So what how would you, how would you, like, how would you, <laughs> um, charge for that like how would you determine how many sessions that requires right yeah well the thing is you don't know until after that regeneration then you ask the body again does it require another one yeah okay yeah. do it again then check another 72 days okay. ask again and then of course how's the stigmatism oh wow that's much better okay but it's still yeah i'm still getting to do it again so there's still a little something there so if you have someone, let's say they're not sure they're going to do more than one, but like even for the basic one with the, when something takes like 110 hours potentially to clear, how would you 
frame that out? Are you just muscle testing to see how much that particular person's going to need? Yeah, ask. <clears throat> ask their body and just say, how many hours is this going to be, be concerted effort, you know, working on this for them? Is it three? Or is it a hundred? No. Yeah. Um, and then we'll get... Do you charge, like, based on how many hours you find there? Or do you just feel like, oh, well, I'm doing this in my... Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to... I guess, yes, and that's the thing, is that everybody is going to be real individual with this. Yeah. Uh, and then some people will say, well, um, they don't have the budget, or like you were saying, that maybe they only had the ones, one clearing session with them. Um, so you did all the clearings, you did all this stuff, um, and then you, you know, you did this, whatever that happens to be, but yeah. then you get to the regeneration. Well, you did get it up to 100% clear you know yeah but you didn't yeah. do the regeneration and you didn't ask the body another you know three months from now if it needs it again you didn't do that but but they're still going to get improvement for sure okay okay not as good as maybe um if you could have worked on other things plus from here uh like it was saying to go back and look at you know your actions from here uh working on your emotions or working on the family or working on stuff they didn't want to see or what's going on right right, right. would be the next steps maybe that's why it's, it's maybe better or easier to do like with a group if you had a group package because you can yeah. you can identify different members and then you're doing the clearing at once on all these different issues but they're still getting their issues targeted right but but people don't it, it seems like it needs people need to kind of be, I guess, a little educated about how it, it could go in different, they could be purchasing different levels of, um, what do you call it, progress, I guess, in the pathway to healing, total yeah. regeneration, right? That's good, Tracy, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I haven't offered the vision program yet to a group, only knowing it just could take a long time, and there's yeah. uh, so many different areas, you yeah. know. Yeah. So is this one going to be on farsightedness or this one's going to be on nearsightedness or is it going to be cataracts or what are we doing here? Yeah. Uh, everything. Okay. Well, you can do a basic general one yeah. and it'll get you 80%, you yeah. know, looking for, but it's not going to be the whole everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know, see. And, and doing their timelines and all that stuff, maybe as a group, it's hard to say, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe you're just going to send the gold into their timeline without getting into any specifics, you know, that way. And so glaucoma is, um, you know, all the part, and then you're going to do the basic hand movement, 70 to 170 hours. Um, similar to clearing a virus, this one's going to take about six to 14 clearings, 50 minutes each or less okay so again cut these numbers in half uh you know off the top of your head just pff, this is this is way too much this is not going to take this long <laughs> all right energy is moving real quick now um yeah at least cut it in half if not more and then get a number yeah yeah things seem to be moving along super super fast i'm finding yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's like the um, it's like their higher self really wants this, so it's like okay, yeah. woo, all right, now it's coming in. The person said yes, they want this. Oh, give it to them, you know. <laughs> yeah, no messing around. Yeah, it's like, ooh. yeah, cataracts. Okay, again, basic swirl. Um, so many hours to clear, and then daily do 30, 30 minutes a day, uh, and then imagine them gone and seeing clearly and then just check how many days it's gonna be you know just um, should I do another day yeah 30 minutes yeah okay um, but yeah for a client you can say well how many days do you think that will be and it'll say okay you know what maybe uh, maybe one week 30 minutes a day for one week and it's it's not unheard of to ask your client to do some of this work too. So maybe you can tell them, hey, just intend that you're uh, clearing and you do this 30 minutes a day. This, oh. is, this is for you to do. It's your eyes. You do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, so put some of the work on them if they're really wanting to get rid of their cataract. Um, 
they can participate in certain things. That's what you're telling them to do is to, um, and then maybe of course emotions, you wanna stay in a neut neutral instead of getting to anger or whatever, you, you know, teaching them a few things they can do on their own. Macular degeneration, that's the regular rolling dice one. Um, having a right to maintain a youthful vibrancy and let go of grief. Uh, so these are issues apparently around macular degeneration. You could look at dry eyes, fluid issues. You're just going to do this clearing. Um, there's nothing to follow it up with. Uh, but you can ask, is there something else that I need to clear after this? And then here's pressure, any kind of pressure issues. Um, basics roll to clear and then the rolling dice imagine releasing a pressure gauge so you can just see like a pressure gauge and you're just shoo, letting off the steam shoo. do that uh, to a hundred percent for 20 days that sounds like breaking a habit doesn't it do this for 21 days <laughs> your habit will be broken <laughs> veins circulation issues Basic swirl to clear. Then imagine their veins going back to normal and you're seeing peace and ask them to see peace with their eyes. And then nerves and muscles, including uh, cross-eyed issues. Basic swirl to clear and then align with truth. Nerve issues are, are like too much fire, like they're burning out. So maybe you could put water on the fire or, you know, seeing their nerves calming down, blue, calming energy in the nerves. Calming down. Visual cortex problems, um, clear it and then regenerate the visual cortex in the brain. Here, so there's the clearing first and then detached retina. Uh, the rolling dice movement, and then imagining that the retina has found its home in your eye again. Breathe in ease and serenity. Because it detached for a reason, right? So, so you want to see that, oh, you're back home, you're back in place. This is, uh, you know, a peaceful, uh, a peaceful home, peaceful place for you. Imagine that it's all nice and relaxed in there. So can I just ask a question about the um, visual cortex? Is that a different clearing from the beginning? I'm not looking at the full um, uh, document here, but in the first part, we had that as part of the work, right? Was that the same clearing or? Well, this is, this is more- Detailed. Elaborate. Yes, this is more elaborated uh, just on that particular issue. These are things that come up for that. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you kind of want to put all that in there. And then, yes, then it would be the same. Just, you know, clear it. Yeah. Regenerate. So the detached retina, they found their home in their eye. Again, double vision. Um, this is just the clearing. There's nothing to do more past this, but you could ask um, and find out you know, go into all the other stuff, right? The emotions, the timelines and everything else, right? From here, but as far as the hand movements, there's no follow-up. And then here's retina conditions and illness issues around the retina again, if there's other, other things, then go there. Uh, and then if there's some kind of growth, uh, cysts, uh, whatever on the eyelid, this would be a good clearing for that. So a lot of them, it's the, um, it's the same, you know, we're still getting soul contracts, we're still getting curses and um, stuff like that. Um, but some of the, some of the emotions could be different. Some of the dark energies attachments could be different. Um, I've been finding walk-ins um, a lot lately, more than usual, just to let you know. Um, and they could be human, but I'm not finding that. I'm finding more of the Zeta, the A4 Zeta as a walk-in, taking over the body. So just FYI, if you're, 
I mean, I usually get a no. Walk-ins, no. Walk-ins, no. You know, for most people, but it's like walk-ins, yes. And when I get a yes, it's like, well, it's unusual. Okay, so is it human? No. Getting Zeta. And I've been getting Zetas lately for walk-ins. So, FYI. So those would be uh, the issues now. Of course, if there's something different or you want to add on, then just chart it yourself and put what you come up with. On your chart. So, um, can I just ask a question? Yes. Um, about 20 years ago, I took a, um, a vision training of how to, to heal vision. And in that class, we would have time where we were working in partners or in, in groups. And in, in one of those situations, when I when I was being uh, worked on with with the process that they were teaching us, my left eye, um, I felt it start to what feels like twist. So it wasn't sitting in my eye socket properly, is what it felt like to me. And I left the class, and it didn't correct, and I had this feeling all of the time um, for a num number of years. And then I then eventually I went to see uh, someone who did uh, cranial work and with the work she was doing, it would straighten out. But if, if I um, got into stress or something, then I would feel it go off again. So it had been, it had been good, but since we've been doing this, and what, what I was doing at the beginning, now I have that feeling back, that twisting in, in the left eye. Do you have any thoughts or suggestions of like Archon. underlying? Yeah, check for archons. Archons, okay. Yeah, they, they do, they can steal your inner vision. They can steal your vision. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, check check all dark entities there. It sounds yeah. to me like it's something like that. And and I am getting yes on the archons, but there could be more um, getting transmortals too for some reason. But um, yeah, okay. The transmortals are more like just you know playing tricks on you. Yeah, yeah. Playing tricks. Um, is is there? in terms of the workings of the eye, um, would it be more the muscles that, that aren't balanced or is there something else in the eyes that, that uh, would affect how the eye is, this, this feeling of twisting? So the physical aspect of the eye. I don't feel that it's like a physical more no I don't think there's much physically the problem no mm -mm. no okay but it's mostly okay. About energy playing tricks on you okay okay thanks so much getting a, a hit on that if they are let uh, Janet know yeah I have a I mean it may be a combination but my sense is there was something that happened in the womb that you didn't want to see with your parents. And so your eye did this protective thing to, you know, help itself. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting too, because I got uh, two past lives with me in the womb <laughs> hmm. uh, and something timeline issue, you know. And I'll, I didn't, I don't feel like I got, to what the source or anything is, but the impression I get when you were talking, Janet, was that it's like, it seems like it's happening when you're doing healing process. It feels like it's trying to restore something, like go backwards to something before something happened. Like that's what it feels sort of like to me. Um, now maybe it's, it needs to go back before these different attachments came in and, you know, twisted things up or something. I don't know, but it's not exactly fitting into a chart. I'm just saying it. Feels like it's trying to reset somehow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, and the 
and the work that I was, I still remember the work that I was doing um, when it happened in, a, in this little group. And that my, my body, it was a very unusual experience. I've not had anything like it before or after, where my body actually went right to being of that particular age, feeling that age and just the terror that was happening. Um, it was like I relived it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do some more timeline work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then go back to the amplification chart too, where we have timelines for emotions, timelines for mental, timelines for, you know, energetic and um, besides the physical. I was trying to find that on my chart and I still haven't been able to. Oh, really? Those, the timelines. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Like the timelines are there, but not the breakdown of the. Oh, okay. Timelines chart. Or yeah. unless the one I've got is an older one or something, I don't know. Maybe I don't know either. Uh, but it's on the amplification. I'll send that to you. Okay, with the uh... yeah, with the PDF of the book, I'm gonna be scanning in for you. Okay. Well, it has. Maybe this is it. It lists one to five, and it says emotions, physical, energetic things that happen in and out of the body, family, and mental. Yeah. Is that what you're referring to? That's it. Mm -hmm. Family and mental. Yeah, emotions. Energy. So, can you just explain that a little bit more? I obviously didn't get that part. So, you can have a timeline just for emotions. Yeah. Yeah. So physical is obviously what we're doing. How old were you? What were, you know, what was yeah. physically, but, um, and, in mental stuff or emotional stuff will come up what was going on, but on your timeline, maybe, um, maybe you've had past lives where you've had, uh, rigidity, you know, they just totally couldn't see things only just one way, or now you've got hardened lenses or hardened of the arteries or something like that. Right. So that could be, uh, part of the emotional timeline, um, you know, continuing on, right. You continue to be rigid or continue to. Okay. Yeah. Have beliefs like that. Yeah. And just comes back again, right? Or or family stuff around vision. Now, um, I don't know how long glasses have been in existence, so I don't know how many lifetimes you can go back with glasses. But um, but uh, some people can't see the whole picture, um, so that can be something that you can check for too. Um, getting the whole systemic view of what a problem is or, or uh, what to do about something or a process or whatever. So maybe getting the whole picture. Um, and maybe there was a time where you were not allowed to use your brain, right? You're just a girl, just go and, you know, sew something or whatever <laughs> or whatever. So um, maybe the family, beliefs or issues around or being intuitive right so the spiritual timeline um being able not not being able to use your vision or inner vision or intuition was um, frowned upon T past lives that's a big one especially for us obviously yeah what would the energetic things that happen in and out of body can go on this timeline? What's that mean? Well, energetic, that would be like the, um, all the energy centers. So your chakras, maybe, uh, maybe your sixth chakra, your energy, um, has been cut off there for some different, different times in the past. Um, that's what I'm getting with that. Okay. So it could have 
because of traumas, these things could be on the timeline, but trauma might, I'm just sorry, thinking out loud, trauma would be a different thing to clear, but some of these emotions or states of thought or energetic conditions in your system can be because of something that happened. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, for you sure. You don't necessarily clear the trauma like Janet was talking about. She had the reliving some kind of traumatic memory sort of thing. So you can sort of clear just the can, whatever gave rise. Yeah. But then do you also have to clear a trauma like under trauma or something? Um, you test for it, yeah, if you're getting yes, then clear trauma. Mm -hmm. Whether you know what it is or not, just clear trauma to 100%. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I guess we are at a, uh, two and a half hours today. So, um, so let's wind this up. Um, and uh, any other questions, just let me know. But um, I'll get out the... Um, meaning of the eyes and what that is. I think that would be helpful for clients that we might have um, that have other issues and things going on that we're not getting maybe 100% of it. But um, I, I feel that it does help with perception. You can clear things that way in perception with that book um, and emotions is what it feels like um, with that. So, okay. Um, Let's stop the recording and...